Good morning. It is 10 to 6 and I'm just getting ready to leave for work. It is a Wednesday and it is Best Mom Wednesday. So my mom's coming out to bring us food. We're going to be working on the land. Hopefully Bugs is going to be able to finish up or pretty much finish up on the shed. I'm going to have a couple other guys paint the storage shed on the far end of the land. I'm going to buy a paint sprayer this morning and just see how that goes. A couple shout outs this morning. The first one goes out to Steve and Cameron from Sacramento, California. They sent me out a giant American flag. It's a 10 by 15. Uh, I did receive a big flag last week as well uh, from somebody else. So I guess we're gonna have to have two giant flags on the land. I'm gonna have to save up because as I mentioned <laughs> on uh, last week's video, when I got one of these, the flags are somewhere between 10 and $20,000 a piece. Um, but we're gonna make it happen either way. He also sent some uh, treats for Annie, which is good because we are just getting ready to take out the garbage. I just saw her cruising around. I think she's ready to go. Last shout out goes out to Oliver and he owns Oliver Woodworking and he makes custom pens and custom bowls and uh, things like that. And if you are interested in getting in contact with him, I know he would appreciate it. He actually made a discount code. Uh, this discount code is VICTORY. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but you can get in touch with him at www.oliverwoodworking.net. Uh, so go check out his website. He's 19 years old, young guy. So go ahead and pay him a visit. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. I found another car on marketplace last night we'll see if the guy messages me back kind of doubt it i messaged him when he had just listed it so morning lisa morning how are you good how's the hot dog business oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny you're so quick went from the hot dog business to the <laughs> counter like record time i'm just everywhere i see <laughs> This should give you a, like, a raise of double at least. Oh, all right. Well, you're all set. Thanks. See Thank you next you. time. Have a great day. Yep. Hi, Ms. Z. 628, just pulling into the yard. Eric's out in the road. I see big rays pulling up. And I already know Bugs is here. I don't know about Tino. Yesterday he said his wife got in an accident, and I have no idea. If he's coming in, if he's not, no clue. The whole thing was odd yesterday, to be totally honest. Jade is here. Hey, Tino's calling now. So you're right around the corner? Oh, yes, so my car stopped. All right. All right. Somebody will be there. Okay. All right, bye. Tino's broke down right around the corner. You better start walking. <laughs> right, right. Call Uber. Francisco's here. Shingle man? Yes, sir. You know how to do the roof? I do the framing and the sides. You okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. My, my, my daughter, she's sleeping all night, man. Morning, Eric. She was crying all night for some reason. Crying all night? Yeah, I don't know. Man. Yeah. That's crazy, because Eric was crying all day yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ain't that right, Ray? Yeah, all day. Oh, day. Yeah? Yeah. Huh? Tino. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go with, go with Bugs? Yeah. I'll pick Tino up. You know Bugs ain't gonna want to pick Tino up. All right, let's go get Tino. Okay, this is where Tino said he was. Don't see Tino. He said he's at the gas station. There's only one gas station on the corner. Tino! Guess he's in the back of the gas station. I'll go check that out. No Tino here. Hello? Hello. I'm right here at the mobile gas station on Lover's Lane in Silver Spring. Where are you? It's, it's hometown. I'm next to the hometown. Uh, uh gas station is a little farther there's tino found him tino's here worst luck ever eh? yeah i've been counting that's like 16 times your car's broken down this year yeah okay we're at home Depot. i'm gonna get some paint i'm gonna get a cheap paint sprayer because i never use paint sprayers and i'm gonna look for the t111 siding i'm pretty sure that's what it's called see if they have that for bugs and i can't remember what else i think that's it Right, Tino? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about, but yes. Okay. What are you going to do with your car over there? Uh, usually, my car brand has a tow truck. Oh. He's probably getting sick of your car. He's getting like, richer from yeah. my car. Morning. Morning, sir. Hey, do you have the, the T111 siding? You guys probably have it. Uh, yeah, they have it here. They also have it as well. 
Super common. Oh yeah, it's right here. All right. Yep, thank you, man. Sure. Appreciate that. <sighs> thank you. You gotta say good work. Good work. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, with I the cash. <laughs> yeah. How many sheets of siding uh, are you gonna need? Uh, it's one, two, three, nine. Nine? Yeah, three aside. And then we got the end. We need a potato fork to peel these shingles. We got one at the yard, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I did see one at the yard, yeah. I thought we had one too. It was red. I don't know what you use to nail these. Do you? Nope. This will work. Those are made for being outside. I gotta get paint now on a paint sprayer. Hey, can you tint this Rust Oleum paint? All those are pre made Those can't be tinted. Are you sure? Are you a thousand percent sure? Hey, the machine said I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> can't you just tell the machine it's a different kind of paint? Hey, I have to beat it to death to make it work. <laughs> oh man, they don't have any colors that I like is a problem. What's this, smoke gray? Hang on a second. I can probably, I can probably live with this color. I was trying to get it a little darker, that's the thing. Oh, you got a tool? Yeah. Man, this thing works good. Look yeah. at you. I can tell you've been in the paint department for a long time. Oh, so this was upper management's decision yeah, to make like you this tool? Yeah, try to make it work safe, so. Yeah, that's that's what upper management is good for. Yeah, that's Think, they Thinking about stuff like this. Oh, yeah. That's, that's they why want. they get paid the big dollars. I'm sure somebody probably playing golf had a good idea, you know, look like golf. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Too bad you don't see oh yeah, yeah, upper management was yeah. probably golfing and yeah, they're like, exactly. hey, you know what, I just had an idea. There you go. <laughs> yeah, thank you, upper management. Hey, it's all about creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any way you could shake all these for me while we're shopping? Yeah, yeah sure, that's no problem. That'd be great. Then we don't have to mess with them. Nope, no problem. Thank you. All right. But there is a warning on there, it's for, it's for horizontal use only. Okay. No <laughs> vertical usage. Look at that. Safety sticker and everything. All right, I think that's it, you know. Here, take this over by the cart and I'll get the paint. I'll meet you by the registers. Okay. I'll put a little black in here and then I can color it. Okay. As long as I put the same amount in each one, right? Yeah, just about to even it out. Yeah. Morning. How are you? Good, back again. Oh, another thousand dollars this morning. Yeah, every day. Every day. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Tino. Francisco just called me, said he can't work without gloves, so I got to go back in and get him gloves. <laughs> Flip that up. I'll be right back. Yeah, came back to the yard. The guys need a shovel fork or a pitchfork or some type of shovel. I know I seen right there. There's a pitchfork. Grab that. And I saw another one. Boom. We got everything. See, we're roofers. Told you. Franny said he couldn't work with all glow. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm and what side. about you? How are you managing? I don't wear gloves. <laughs> I don't like wearing gloves. It's sharp? Oh. What do you actually need to shingle? Huh? I mean, we don't have the tools you need to shingle. What do you need? But we need the tools to actually put the shingles on. I got a hammer and nails, dude. That's all you need. You're just gonna hammer them in? Yeah, as big as this is, we don't need that. Got, got that. Yeah, I know, but we, we, have a, we don't have a compressor either. I got one. You do? Yeah, I got one. The one I use for... Man, man, if you got a, you got a nail gun? I got everything. Man, he's a I roofer. Swear, I wouldn't call him that. He's a pretend he's roofer. A man on a roof. <laughs> I'm going to examine your work closely. That'd be nice to go get it. Load that, load up all that pile of dirt. And you're going to take that dirt today. You're going to load it yourself. It's the day of your dreams, Ray. <laughs> Wait a second. Where did all that come from now? What? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Ryan Jr. He just takes advantage of the situation. Maybe it was close. He just dumps stuff and makes me pick it up. He should have just left it on the truck. I know. You comfortable with all this? Yeah. You sure? He said not really. There's only one way to learn. So there's like four loads. That will take Ray a very long time. So I don't have to worry about keeping him busy anymore. He's been asking to drive the Bobcat, run the Bobcat since he started. And uh, today's his day. Today's the day. I'm pretty sure this shed's gonna be wet. So we might have to let it dry off for a while before we paint it. It's really wet, 
really wet. Man, had to rain last night and it's all dewy too. This side's even wet and this side it got a little bit of sun. I have to wait till a little later to do that. Th that's not long enough, obviously, Eric. So Bugs took a brand new 16 footer and chopped it up to bits. <laughs> Hello? Hello, do you have your key? Aye, aye. Yes, I do. All right. I'll be home in a minute. I gotta run home, Tino, or Eric. You know how to put it? Yeah, put it like, just like this. That way there's a hole in the middle so I can put wire. Just use this one. See if we got a full one. That one got cut a little bit. Man, this is so frustrating with these cars. There goes my wife and some of my kids at school. I put the key to my pickup truck in my pocket this morning. And obviously she needed my key. And I can't find a car for my daughter. The guy this morning, or last night I should say, I messaged him and then he's like, I'm, I'm not using Messenger anymore. You need to call me. And then you go to his listing and the number is a hidden information, so you can't call him. So I messaged him back, I said, what's your number? And no message back. It's such a pain trying to find a used car right now. Back at Home Depot, trying to get treated four by four so we can put that, that little extension on the shed and the aisle's closed. And from the looks of things, it's gonna be closed for a while. So I'm gonna buy cedar, which is in this aisle, which is a lot more money, but I'm not waiting. We'll just tap kind of down. Francisco said he needed drip edge. I have a feeling this is not gonna be my last trip to Home Depot today. This is trip number two. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be three or four today, but it's all gotta be done. It's all gonna be worth it when everything is finished. See you later. Yeah, see ya. I really will see you later because I ain't done yet. I know you've been here four, three times. Yeah, two so far, but I'll be back. Okay, I just ran home, ran to Home Depot, picked up all the stuff. <laughs> and Ray's not even loaded with one low yet. Look at him. He's learning, man. I don't know if Ray's coming back next season or not. I have no idea. It kind of depends, you know, on him. He's welcome back, obviously. But I don't know what other opportunities might pop up for him. But uh, if he does come back, it'd be nice to have him a little bit more comfortable using the equipment. Even just being able to load it himself and tie it down and, you know, go pick it up when it's on a job. Then I don't have to chase all over with them, you know. What's up? Somebody like, we're going. You want to use four by fours for the support? Yeah, I got them here. And I got, I, huh? I got the four by fours and I got the little steel things to hold them. If you want to pick up all this garbage, throw it in there and then put it in a pile over there. That would be good too. I, I don't know what you guys need, so. I, I can't guess what you need. I need a list. Because bugs need stuff too now and whatever you need. But I don't know what you need, so. Francisco, take this. You're gonna have to notch the sheathing for this post. This thing is for holding cameras up high. So, take this. <sighs> Hold that for a second. This is gonna go right here. Right on the corner. Like this. It's gotta go against a two by four, so. Right, but once we get the sheeting on then I can cut that and then you can mount it you're gonna trim that later yeah okay never mind just so you know that's where it goes though okay, yep. hopefully this will be dry in a little while oh it is it's drying up it's drying up so I'm just gonna have them real quick scuff it with scotch bright just really quick and then wipe it down uh, with uh, acetone and then it'll be ready for paint. I mean, we're not looking for perfection here, but I want the paint to stick, obviously. We're not doing the back either. I don't care about the back. Just the three sides and that's it. Tino, come on down and I'll show you what I want you to do. You're pretty much done up there, right? For now? Okay, yeah, I'll show you what to do. So we're just gonna paint the three sides, the front and the two sides. So you gotta scuff the paint first. So just take this, like this, just real quick. Not the back, huh? Yeah, here. Right yeah, yeah. This side. One, two, three. Okay. And then once you got, see these two sections are done now. That didn't take hardly any time at all. Then you take the rag. Grab one rag. Let's clean it all up. Yep. Just put a little bit on a rag and get all the dust off that you just made. So that's it, that section's done. It only took a few minutes. Cool. It doesn't take forever. Yeah, I got it. Eric can help you too. Oh, you're going? 
I ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. Okay. If we were builders, I'd be broke in a week, though, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I would. It's like a brand new building. Oh, Eric's happy. Hey. <laughs> the last I have all the guys in here. <laughs> That's why you put a 65 inch. <laughs> It's know, just right? for the camera. Dude, this is nice here now. I know. I gotta, I'm gonna get a nice stool right it's here. It's so crazy how the, the big tank That's what I'm saying. Like the holes, messy, dirty, it smells bad. Four or five bucks? Yeah. Who's coming early to make coffee? Bugs. Whoever. <laughs> Bugs. Whoever gets you first. I'll tell Bugs, hey. Bugs. Whoever say Bugs. Bugs all the time. I'll tell Bugs every day he's gotta come in early just to make coffee for you guys. <laughs> not a chance brother so when i dump it you got to watch so this doesn't snag on anything okay. and then uh watch this wire too looking good so far yep. nice having a dump truck huh is that good yeah, all right i'm gonna get some dumpsters over here sooner than later get all the trash picked up that made it easy really easy okay just drop francisco off he's gonna run home because he has a compressor a nail gun everything he needs for roofing and he said he has extra uh tar paper that he doesn't need so he's gonna grab all that stuff he's gonna put the roof on bugs is working on the framing stuff i gotta grab an air hose from in here he said he borrowed his dad his air hose grab that and then we'll be on our way are you done yeah you're all done you did the front too yeah. this stuff did you do this part I swear I can't keep the guys working when I'm gone. Every time I turn around, they're sitting somewhere doing nothing. Like, come on, man. Did you guys stop for any reason in particular? I mean, I mean everything is done on this side and the other one. You just got the front right there. Oh, you sure he wiped this? Tell me the truth. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe it down. I'm, I mean, with the scrubber things. These? Yeah, do this too. Okay. This metal, this metal up here. Okay. I'm going to mix up some paint. Okay. I didn't tell you anything. I wasn't over here. I told Tino and I told you Tino will tell you. Look what I got. Oh, that's professional. I hope that little sprayer works good, man. <laughs> when? Right now, when nobody She's was here? here? Yeah, she was crying. She was like... <laughs> she was so loud. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> She said nobody was here, that's why. Yeah, no, she thought she got left alone. I really don't know how much paint this is gonna take. I'll make one gallon and see what happens. You know? I think that should be enough of this. You think so? Yep. I'll just measure it so I know if I gotta make another batch, how much black I gotta add. Cause I don't like this color. I want it darker than that, like a charcoal. So we're gonna add a little bit of black at a time. That's still not even dark enough, Eric, right? I don't even like that. Just dump it in there. I want it pretty dark. You know what I mean? Like charcoal color. Like doing the floor? Yeah. Epoxy. All right, Eric. Dude, it's still not dark enough. I want a darky dark. They didn't have a dark gray? No, that's the only gray they had. Ah, we're getting there now. Now we're getting there. Still I'm spraying everywhere. Every still, truck. Still want a darker. I think that's a good color now. That's kind of what I was going for. It ain't spraying nothing, Eric. Hey, this one's ready. That's not ready. I know, I was just testing it, Eric. It's coming out really slow, though. It ain't spraying. It's too thick. Let's get that out and dump it out. I got to put thinner in there. Where's that? Yeah, give me that. I mean, it's spraying, but it's, it's like a quarter of an inch thick. We'll get it to spray. We'll get it to spray. This should spray. This stuff is not that thick anymore. Oh, let's try it. That's pretty wide, man. I mean, it's still super thick, but it's covering it. It looks brand new. We get a wrap. It's working good, though, man. Look at that. That only took like two minutes. Think about buying one of those. I know made, for your car. It's laying down like glass. Right. right. Not really. <laughs> it looks terrible, but it's great. Yeah, it does something, man. Yeah. It's, look at it's all dripping down. It's Look okay. at it's all dripping down. It's okay. It's I don't really care okay. as long as it's gray. So I think we'll paint all this and then we'll yeah. come back with a rollers and then I, or the brush and like I don't know we got to do something cause it's gonna look lame just solid. Come back with the black or something and paint the bars or black something. Give it a rip. See what you think. Start on the top. You're too close. You're too short. 
You're too short to get the top. Look at me. Why you're so too far. <laughs> I just got a text from my electrician. He said, Menominee Falls will not come out here unless this place has an actual address. They can't generate an inspection request without an actual address. Well, this is getting so ridiculous. This place doesn't have an address. It's just bare land. So I'm gonna go to Menominee Falls and I'm gonna get the guy over here to inspect this. I need electricity, man. This is getting frustrating, really frustrating. Okay, I'm going to City Hall. I gotta figure out what's going on. They won't give me an inspection without an address? Okay, I'm at City Hall to figure out what's going on. If they can't actually generate an inspection request without an address, I'm going to invent an address for the property. I don't know what else to do. If their computer system or something just won't allow it, then I'm giving it an address. Okay, so I was just in there and I'm not sure like who my electrician talked to or what the confusion was. But I walked in there and I set it up. The inspector's coming tomorrow. There was no issue at all. So it's, everything was perfect. It was just a little unnecessary frustration and a little waste of time, but we're good. The inspector's gonna come tomorrow morning and we'll be there tomorrow morning, make sure everything goes smooth and then get that done. And then hopefully we energies will be, you know, coming next week sometime to hook me up. So I'm gonna head back to the land. Playing around what? Oh, so you had it parked no, here? I did, I did it right here. I, I was doing it right here. Yeah, I know. Tino drove it that way. He did? Yeah. For what reason? I had it right here. For what reason? Uh, he was playing, I guess. Are you done with this? Did you spray? Uh, did you spray plenty of that through the thing? You oh did? yeah. Oh yeah, I cleaned it. Somebody called me. They said they seen you eating chips while you were driving. Is that true on the way here? I was eating chips. Yes, I got spies, dude. You got to remember, we're very visible. Yeah, I know, I know. People oh are just watching for oh something. My God, I see him, Ray. I, gotta... I, I looked at him and I was like, he's going to say something. <laughs> yeah, he did. He texted me right away. He's That's like, funny. I just seen your guy, Ray, eating chips while he was chips. driving. What's wrong with that? What happened here? Did you break this here? No, that was like that. No, I had to wait for a train. Why did they take it apart? The and got some oh, chips. Yeah. What are they doing? Buggy is pretty mad. About what? I don't know. He's always mad. Talk. Well, he, he comes over here all ticked. He's like, those four by fours you got ain't gonna work. I was like, why not? He's like, they're too long. I was like, too long? I was like, dude, just cut them. Of course he's complaining. I'm ready to kick him out of here, to be honest with you. You don't want to work, go home. That's what I'm saying. I'm tired of the complaining like little babies, adult babies. Guys get taken care of like gold. They get treated like gold. And I hear whining, whining, whining. You need anything from the store? What? You need anything from the store? No. You in a bad mood? Yes, I am. Why? Because I'm rushed. Why? Who's rushing you? You said it's got to be done by tomorrow. I do want it done tomorrow. This is taking four days, or it's going to be four days after tomorrow. If you don't think you can get it done, you can't get it done. I mean, well, I'll get it done. Trust me. If you if if you can't get it done, you can't get it done. I would like to get it done tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I understand we're not carpenters, but come on. Throw a can in there. I'll get diesel. Is it beeping? It's red. Huh? It's red. It's, it's beeping. red. It's beeping. Low, low. Just leave it alone. I'll go get diesel. Ugh. Me and Bugs butt heads all the time. All the time. He's constantly ornery. And I just, man, I just can't deal with that all the time. He's very, very rarely in a good mood where he just works and he's happy. And I'm just tired of it, to be honest. I am very, very sick and tired of it. I treat the guys good, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the whining and complaining and all the time, it's super frustrating to me. Uh, diesel just spilled all over the, my dash, my truck. That's gonna stink like forever and ever. I didn't have nothing to tie it in the bed of the truck. It would've just slid around, fell over and spilled all over there. This day, man, I'm telling you what, for just an easy day working at the yard, 
having a lot of frustration right now. Although the guy with the pallet racking just messaged me and he said they're ready to pick up. So I'm gonna go grab that. This will get Big Ray going for a little while. Uh, the pallet rack is ready to be picked up now. Francisco's taking a long time. I'm gonna call him, see if he's okay. Racine? Oh my. Actually, if you look at it, it kind of looks like shiny armor all. It does. Look it's at like that. Really shiny armor. Eric, when we get back, do the whole dash diesel. Okay. I just and the seat. <laughs> <laughs> I just found the secret. Look at how shiny that is, though. I think that's what they use, man. We're gonna diesel the whole dash when we get back. Look at how shiny that thing well, is. Let's try. Let's do race truck first. See how he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in there. He's like, uh, uh. we only did one load. It's 11 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's gonna take him a week. He's been oh, yeah. busy all week. I don't know what he's in our way today. I was a little worried about this guy because I paid him yesterday, you know? It's right there. That's my pile. The uprights are a lot nicer than the ones yesterday. These ones actually still have paint on them. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I believe that's my stack right there. You. Thank you. He looks like he loves his job though. I love my job too. This guy's a pro, Eric. Relax. He's probably got like 30 years on the forklift. Oh, look at that. I think we're good. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. All right, you too. Pro. He scratched the paint here. Pro. I almost scratched the whole thing. You scratch the outside, he scratch the inside. That's the difference. All right, let's go. That was easy. Pretty nice pallet racking. Got brand new wire deck. It's really not that ugly either. Way better than the stuff we had yesterday. Oh, Ray's on load number two now. Look at Look at him. That's super slow. Get it, Ray. He's going to be super happy today. He's going to tell his wife all about this and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. I caught all that. Big scoop. What is he doing? He's gonna turn like that. <laughs> what is he doing, really? He's gonna turn like that. Why? Oh, uh, I gotta talk to him. So, when you have a whole bucket of material, don't raise it all the way up and play around like that. Because that's how you tip the machine. Okay. So grab your scoop, keep the bucket low, come over by the truck, square up like you are now and then lift it in the truck okay don't lift it high over there and start driving around with the bucket all the way in the don't air do it again yeah because that's this this machine's pretty stable but a lot of other machines like tire machines you'll flip those right over messing around like that thank you yep, yep. lesson number one do not kill yourself and tino's just apparently just driving across the parking lot lit all the mud for no reason he just drove it over there for what reason oh Watch me now, watch. Huh? How are you doing that jig? The jig? Yeah, you're like, do, do, do. I'm not good at that. I'm like, I'm trying to do it, but I'm not doing you it. You use that paddle. Right, just do that? Right yeah. Away. Well, not right away. After you dump it, you're trying to get the rest out. So right. then you just, after I it's till it and it goes no you got to go fast with your fast? foot okay. yeah let's take all the grading back there set it on the patio and i want to like i want to put a couple one piece together just to see what it's like three hours later man this is pretty much exactly the same as that shelving area yeah it's exactly the same it is yeah look at that i'm gonna start putting the siding on we need another impact gun though because Bugs is using the only impact right now and we need another one. I have my DeWalt at home. I'm just gonna grab that. My mom should be here in a few minutes. Oh, Graham's here. All right, just go in there. They're all ready. All right, I'm back. And my mom is all set up and ready to go. We'll see if Bugs comes down and eats. He's in a bad mood, really bad mood. Whoa. You got an easy money shirt? Wow. Huh? What do you think of all this? You got a lot done. That's amazing. Coffee? 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 Thank you. These are enjoying this. Get them out of there. Just let them eat. They didn't do anything to you. Oh, I don't want to. They're hungry too. Hey, that paint is really shiny, Eric. We should buff it. See if we can get a mirror finish. In the morning, you can walk by and do your hair and stuff. 
Eric, Eric, the portal potty's going way on the end by the dumpster. Right there. No, way over by the dumpster. I don't want no stink over here in the morning. By the time we make it over there, we'll <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 I'll call your mom. Yeah. Eric pooped his Eric, pants Eric. again. Man, look at this paint job. That is mere finish. I mean, anybody would be proud to have that on their sports car right there. Oh, man. Got some drips going on over there. This side is pretty much the same. It's a little bit better. You can't say though, uh, this stuff is on there thick. Okay, I just got one piece of siding up. I'll grab another sheet. I don't have all the screws in yet, but there's enough to hold it. I just want to get this thing closed in, man. Okay, bye. Thank you. How's your car? Car's great. Good. This is gonna be the camera tower. The camera tower. More. Okay, so not well, just kick it. Oh, all right. That's good, Eric. That's flush right here, flush right there at the top. <laughs> One little storm. <laughs> that would stink. If I was watching the cameras and then you just see everything go like this. <laughs> That'll give a nice view. One going this way. One going that way. Oh, if the inspector came here, he'd be like this. Yeah, guys, it's gotta come back down <laughs> right away. Imagine how mad bugs would be. <laughs> if the inspector said this has to come down right away. You know what we could do? Immediately. Hey, Mr. Ryan. Hey, Mr. George, how much you pay for the roofer guy? Oh, no. 20 bucks? No, no good. <laughs> Take that out. Hang on. This one's no good at all. What do you mean no good? This one's no good. We gotta get it flush to the bottom of the two by four on both sides. And now hold it so it's completely flush with the bottom of the two by four. Put your finger right under there. It is flush right here. Push it this way now till a bit bumps. Yeah, see how crooked this corner is? Okay, hold it flush. That was the problem. We gotta push it forward so you can. Uh... Oh. Well, let's just see how far off it is. Okay. Push it. So we need a skid loader? That be nice. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have the stamps inside. Not really inside, but have a roof over them. Sun won't beat on them. At some point, I mean, I might even drop down some sides. We'll see. Man, carpentry is easy money. Not just one thing there. Shingles already? Oh, go ahead. You going up? Oh, no way. I cut the wrong side. Eric, it's fine. We can just go like this. Is that all right? <laughs> I cut the wrong side. I've done that. Uh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is their side has a big fat trim too. That'll cover our giant gap. If we built a house, man, that would be horrible. Look hey, at it's that. It's better to have a gap on the top, don't you think? Oh, that's a big gap, man. That's only like an inch and a half, Eric. Like that, like that, like that. You better have it like that. No, because look at this now. It's fine. Look at this. It's fine. The water will come right in here, Eric. I'm screwing in, Eric. I don't care. You think an inch and a half gap will be fine? <laughs> there's a piece of... There's, there's trim that goes here. There is. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what we could do? We could put some foam in there and caulk it. You got an inch and a half caulking? Caulking? That's hacked for real. <laughs> right? How big is it? <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, but from the street, you probably can't even see it. We could put a little piece in there. <laughs> hey, we could, hey, we could cut a little sliver aside and screw it in. I don't know why it's like that, though. That looks. I don't know, that's weird. Oh, perfect. See? I told you. 
top. Yeah, put the top up first. I don't know where the end is, but that don't look right, does it? I don't know. Was it in a little piece of pot? I don't think that's what? right. I don't think that's right. <laughs> hold, hold it, Eric. Hold it. That looks wrong. Let's see. Hey, if we ever become siders, we're gonna need a little practice, Eric. Don't you think? A lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot of practice. That looks nice. Oh, great. Look Why are you making fun? That hurts my heart. It hurts my feelings, man. What is it? He's making fun of the gaps. I told him we're gonna put a little caulk. This building is so square and plumb, you don't even know. All right, we're cleaning up for today. We're just about done. Francisco's putting shingles on right now. He just started. We gotta finish the soffit there, and then that's pretty much it. Then we can paint this side. This side we gotta put trim boards to cover up the little mishaps there. But that's okay, because on this side, they did the same thing. They got a big board over there too. We'll do the same thing on the other end. I'm gonna go to Home Depot either tonight or tomorrow morning, get the rest of that. This back here is pretty close to being done. Bug's gonna finish it off. And uh, pallet racking is ready here. It's ready to go. It's nice pallet racking, man. It's not all rotted out. It's in really good condition, actually. I'm really happy with it. It's gonna be really nice once we slide that up under there, have all our stamps stored properly. We just need some rocking chairs under there. So we're gonna clean up. We're done for today. And we got this thing painted. It's uh, it's pretty much dry. So this thing looks a lot nicer. I might paint the bars white or a different shade of gray. The other building we're gonna paint real charcoal gray like that. And then I wanna do all the trim in white. So I might do the bars white here just to kind of match. It's turning into a contractor's dream yard. You're staying for a little bit? Yeah. All right, just make sure you lock everything. I'm gonna close this garage door too. All right, I'll see you in the morning. I want a nice roof on there tomorrow. No leaks. All right, we'll be back in the morning. Adios. Good morning. It is 525. I'm just getting ready to leave. I need to get over to the land ASAP and drop off the materials that I picked up last night so the guys have something to do. They're pretty much stuck right now. We're going to try to get that shed pretty much finished up today. Not painted, but hopefully we can get it all together. I'm pretty nervous this morning because the electrical inspector is coming to check on that temporary electrical service and um, me being able to get power totally hinges on what he says. So I'm nervous because of the electrical part and then obviously, um, you know, the shed that we're building, we're probably not supposed to be doing that without a permit. Um, but it is just a temporary hub. I'm gonna put a building up right there, right where we're putting a shed. So. You know, I, in my viewpoint, I guess, what's the difference between having like a mobile uh, job site trailer or, you know, having a shed where we're going to be working out of while we develop the land over the next three years. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully it goes fine and he doesn't say that we have to tear the whole shed back down because I'm pretty sure Bugs' head would explode. Anyways, I got to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. All right, I am just pulling up. I need to drop off the materials that are in the back of this truck. I went to uh, Home Depot last night and I tried to get everything that we need to finish, but they didn't have some specific trim boards that I need. So I'm here really early. It's uh, 5.38 right now. I'm gonna drop this stuff off. And then I gotta run to Menards and pick up hopefully the rest, which is way about 35 minutes from here. So I'm gonna drop this stuff off. These guys can just come here and get started because I wanna be back here in time uh, for the inspector to talk to him. I'm usually pretty good at talking with people, so if there's any issues or whatever, hopefully we could just work it out. The problem that I have is I couldn't find this soffit right here. This is like a textured soffit. I know you can't see it, but they didn't have that at Home Depot. So I'm gonna run back and uh, 
see what they have at Menards. It's half inch by 12, but it's got a texture on it. And worst case scenario, if they don't have it, I'm just gonna get just untextured because you don't really see that anyway, but I'm gonna try to get the right stuff. At least put in the effort. Okay, I am out of here. I'm gonna grab some coffee, head to Menards. Oh, no diet, Dr. Pepper. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Oh, it's my Friday today. Is it? All right. Yeah, I'll come back till Tuesday. That's nice. That's a nice long weekend. Thank All you. Right, you don't need a bag? No. All right, have a good one. Thank you. See you next time. Eric just texted me. He said he's not coming in today. So, down one, 609, just pulling up to Menards. And I'm hoping to have what I need. Problem and why I need the soffit material so much is because Francisco needs the soffit on so he can put his drip edge on so he can roof that side. That's the big deal. I mean, if it wasn't, we could build a soffit some other day and finish everything else, but it's holding us up right now. Ha ha ha. They have exactly what I need. PVC trim plank. That's it right there. I think this is a little thicker than what is there. That's pretty close, so we might have to adjust it a little bit, but that's the stuff. All right, we got everything we need. We're out of here. Oh, and my belt. They had these belts by the entrance. There's no buckle. Some kind of, I don't even know what it is, some kind of track system. You can adjust it wherever you want, real close together for the perfect fit. Oh, we'll try it. I need a belt, so usually that stuff is like gimmicky and you try it and it's junk, but I'll give it a try. How's your morning so far? Morning. <laughs> It'll get better. Have, Have a great, great day. day. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you. That's yeah, awesome. They had everything that I needed. The only other thing I want to get is I want to stop at the yard. I got a Milwaukee cordless compound miter saw for making that soffit. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to have bugs start working on the back of the shed and I'm going to start building the soffit. As soon as the soffit's built, then Francisco can finish the roof. As far as lumber goes, Menards carries a lot more stuff than Home Depot. And I mean a lot more stuff. Menards generally has everything that I need. Unfortunately, it's quite a distance from my house. If there was a Menards by my house, I would probably never go to Home Depot ever again. I know that's right in Home Depot's heart. It has nothing to do with the workers there. It just has everything to do with what they stock and what they don't have. All right, I'm calling up Big Ray. No answer. Hello. Morning. Morning. Are you the only one there? Yep. Oh, okay, well Ray's calling me now. Um, Ray's gotta drive the form truck. So when he gets to the yard, have him drive the form truck because Eric's not coming in and Francisco's going straight to the land. So when uh, I... Sawzall blades. <laughs> oh, all right. We could use some new ones. All right, is there anything else you can think of before? No, I was thinking of that last night. That's the only thing I can think of is Sawzall blades. We have everything else. Hey, Ray, are you at work yet? Yeah. Uh, you gotta drive the form truck over to the land okay all right back into nards for sawzall blades i don't i hope i don't have to do any more shopping today i just want to i just want to stay and work literally the last three days that's all i've done pretty much is just run here and run there and run here and run there but we're almost done now thankfully i do need paint obviously for the shed but i'm not painting it today we we'll just get it all done that would be fine with me I'm not even going to put the trim boards on. I'm going to paint the shed first and then put the trim boards on because they're already white and then we don't have to carefully paint the trim boards afterward. Just because you said you were bored. <laughs> so I yeah. want to give you something to do. Winter is coming fast. Oh. It's kind of scary when it's dark when you get up for work. We work outside so it's worse for us because we know the end is coming. Yep, so we got to while the sun's light. Right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have everything we need. It is a beautiful morning here in Wisconsin. Look at the sunrise. It's uh, 6.37 right now. It's 48 degrees. It's a little crisp. We're starting to get those crisp mornings just a touch. Fall is definitely in the air. Man, it's my favorite time of year and it is just gorgeous today. Uh oh, boat is going. Hello. We're dead in the water, brother. The shed's locked. I can't get in to get nothing. Oh, at the land. Yeah. Uh, I'll be there in like 10 minutes. I'm 
just going up to the land. It's five to seven. And I seen Tino driving out. Hello? Hey, where are you going? You're going the wrong way. No, I'm going to the gas station real quick. I get something to drink and I take a poop. To take a poop? Yeah. What's up? Hey, I see a big gap right there. Oh, well, I'm not done with that. That's probably not a paper. Oh. That's, I think that's like thicker paper. I don't know. Morning, Ray. Morning. Morning, morning, Jade. I try on the truck. I don't even know if you want me to keep doing what you Yeah, want. yeah, go over there. I got a variety pack. I got extra wood blades and, and it comes with a tube. Oh yeah, this stuff is, this is way thicker than that. This is like, this is almost three quarter. That's all right, we'll just have to cut the two by four slightly different. I'm gonna build it all in one piece and then just put the whole thing up in there and then screw it in. Train's here. I guess it's staying here too. Okay, that part is ripped. Now, I really need this two by four. That piece is actually three quarters, or uh, yeah, three quarters. Two by four just needs to be that minus a quarter for the thickness, nine and a half inches. I'm gonna make a template so I can cut all them two by fours. I just cut this one, we'll see if it fits. No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work because the material that I'm putting on is gonna be thicker, so I didn't compensate for that. I need like another half an inch. Okay, I made this template twice, but this one should be perfect. The first one was off just a touch and I didn't like it. This one's worse. Come on, man. Okay, attempt number three at the uh, little template. I have full confidence in this one. Uh, uh. Try number four at the template. Okay, let's see if I'm even doing this right. This big nail right in the way. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. Just gotta screw this one under here, like that. And then uh, then we can put it up in there. If it ain't good, it's going up in there anyway. I ain't messing with this no more. The only way to do it is to get a really long screw extension. Yep. It'll work. Yep. That's how it goes right there, just like that. All right, I'm running to Home Depot. We need a one foot long screwdriver extender, uh, impact extension, so we can get the screws all the way in. We need more drip edge and shingles. I'm thinking this is gonna be my last stop of the day. Can you walk in? Here we go. There you go, 12 inch. We'll just get the screws started, hold it up, punch them through. Now I gotta get shingles and drip edge. Hey, where did you get those shingles? I'm at Home Depot. I don't see nothing with pink packaging at all. I got them in ours. Oh, are you serious, dude? M Menards is over half an hour away. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get them later. Hi. Uh, morning. Are you open? You see anything? Oh, there, there. It's under my hand. Four, four. All right, I'm back. I got some screws started there. Now I just need to get the guys to help me hold it up. Man, that's pretty good right there. Just need to nail this trim up, and we are done. Done, done, done. That right there is some professional soffit work, if you ask me. It looks amazing. Amazing. Straight up. That only took me like five hours. Only? Yeah, <laughs> it's really not bad. Hey, hey imagine if I had to go around the whole house. I'll be there for six to nine weeks. Yeah, it'll be done by the next year. Yeah, exactly. So I just got to cut a piece of... Careful, Jay. I won't put this by Jay. She's going to... She's gonna tear it to bits, man. Here, put this up there or something. Thank I'm gonna cut a piece, piece of trim. I cut this a little short so it would slide in here, three quarters of an inch, to finish that off. Covering up the gaps like nothing, Bugs. Look, you can't even see nothing. See? <laughs> when it starts leaking, I'll just find the leaks and caulk it. All right, everything's looking pretty good. I gotta go get some more trim, more shingles. And I got to get some cable ties for all the, uh, the POE cable. So I'm going to run them nards. The inspector still isn't here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. They said he was coming early. 
I don't know what their idea of early is. Francisco's putting up shingles, but I, I gotta get him more shingles. He's gonna run out and then they're gonna be doing nothing. Bugs is finishing the last couple things in the back. It's gotta be painted and then the rest of the trim put on. But it, it turned out real nice, or it's turning out real nice. We're not quite done yet, but it's gonna work good for what we're gonna use it for. I can't believe I'm back at Menards again. Thank you. Got it? Yep. Can you tell me where those are? In front of that building. Right in front? Yep. Thank you. Hang on, hang on, hang on! Ooh, almost got it. The truck's so high you can't see it. Oh, come on, guys. Man, I shouldn't have grabbed three. It's oh, heavy, man. For real. <laughs> What's so funny? I got three. I got three. Here, take take this one. Ugh. That's enough for me, one. <laughs> Jade, you don't want to grab one or anything? Oh, you're just happy. She's just happy with her two by four. This roof is big now. It kind of is for a little shed. Oh, we're not. <laughs> yeah, imagine trying to put this on Buck's truck. Little to the left, brother. <laughs> when we need to move this, it's coming down. The whole thing's coming down. Man, I hate roofs, dude. I do not like roofs. I got, I'm glad I got this pole right here, though. I'm just not comfortable on roofs, to be honest. I just feel like one wrong move and I'm toast. I'll let him do his thing. What? You wanna get the forks and try to dig that out? That ain't gonna get out no, man, I've been forks. digging that thing, keeps going, packing back in there. That's because when you first put a bucket, grab some of the gravelly stuff first, not the mud. Yeah. Then it just slides right out. Don't put the hard mud or the real wet mud in first. I was thinking first. about putting the gravel in just a little while ago, I started thinking Yeah, that. you put a couple buckets <laughs> on the bottom and then put the dirt. So the back is pretty much done. That's all we're doing, I'm just painting the rest. Obviously we're gonna have all our pallet racks in there. You're not actually gonna see it anyway, but. Right, Jay, who cares? It's just a storage shed that's gonna get torn down in a few years anyway. But everything else looks good. I'm gonna trim up that there. Actually, I could probably do that now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I just gotta trim this here, and then we're pretty much done. On the other side of the shed, they, they trimmed around that drip edge there, but I don't really know if that's necessary, to be honest. They did a nice job trimming that. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can't really do that because right now it's, the drip edge is flush with the wall, so I can't fit trim behind that. I'm just gonna leave it over there. Yeah, see, there's no room to put anything behind it. I don't think it's necessary. I'm gonna put this trim up here and, and then we're done with this shed. Still waiting on the inspector. That's trimmed up. It looks real good. I ran out on the bottom though, so what are you gonna do? Now it is 11.30, still no inspector. We're gonna get some lunch and then I'll grab some paint. I'll have these guys tape, tape some of this off, tape and paper it off around the door and stuff and get this thing painted quick. I think I'm just gonna send Bugs home. He's in a terrible mood again, so I'd rather him go home, honestly. I just don't like to work with that negativity. I can't stand it, honestly. Look at the shed. It's looking good. It does, it looks good. I think we did a pretty good job. I mean, it's not perfect, you know, obviously. But it looks, it's respectable, we'll put it that way. It's kind of like if a, uh, you know, if a carpenter with some experience were to pour a driveway and he kind of sort of knew what he was doing, it'd probably turn out okay, you know, but not perfect. It's pretty much the same thing. I don't want all the carpenters on here making fun of us, you know. Uh, once you get out, just pick up all the garbage, throw it in your truck, just dump it at the garbage pile in the front, and then you can go. All right, see you later. I'll go grab some paint. Just to get this thing looking nice. Company, I'm is in for gold. Very slowly picking away at the pile. Man, I can't believe it's a day and a half now. And he still is like, he still has a lot to go. And that really wasn't that much dirt. I'm hoping to see him start moving a little bit faster by the end of today, but I think he's getting a little bit more comfortable. Guess where we are. Oh yeah, yeah. I promise this is the last trip today to the big box store. Even if I need something, I'm not coming back. I think this is trip number four. Oh, look at all these colors. I'm not super picky. That's pretty good. Pencil point. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, could you make me some paint? Yeah. No, I don't need the super expensive paint. Okay. This only got to last like about three years. Okay, no problem. Anything else you need to get? 
Um, yes, I'll, I'll get some stuff okay. while she's uh, no mixed problem. Got it. Okay. Hey, how long you been in this apartment? I, I've seen years. I've seen you here forever. Yeah. Six. Yep. 16 years. 16 years with the company. Man, oh, that's, that's crazy. That is a long time to work yeah. at Home Depot. I thought I'd ask him because as long as I remember this place being open, I remember him. I'm gonna get some frog tape and then I'm just gonna get some paper. Yeah. Hello. Hey, right. Yeah. Hey, in a bit, uh, Tito's gonna go get some food. I'm gonna stay here. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I don't care. He's just, he's just gonna go here to the taco stand. Oh, that's fine. Are you gonna go get more bundles later or, or not? Bundles of what? We're we gonna need more roofing. Oh, no way. You told me four. I got five to make sure. I'm not going Menards again today. That would be the third time. That's like two hours. If you want to get them, you can go get them, but I'm not. This, oh. That'd be my fifth time to the big box store. If you want to get them later, you can get them, but I'm not going. I can't I'm do it. Get, I don't get them because I want to finish this today. Yeah, all right. Oh boy, Ramon now. Yeah, Ramon. Hey, uh, did you try to um, tell me something? No. No? Okay. No. Just wondering. All right. Yep, yep bye. Bye, bye. Is this a new thing they start putting like these little lids on? Yeah. Brand new? I've never seen this in my life. This so this is, is like that. a spout then? Yeah. Oh man, that's beautiful. Why didn't somebody think of that a long time ago? If you want to change the color of your nails, you could just dip it right in, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yep, that looks good. You don't have to mess with it. That looks great, yeah. I'm gonna grab something to eat. Francisco's gonna go back to Menards and get the shingles. I'm gonna get something to eat, start taping stuff off. I'm at the yard, I need to find a spray shield. I know I had two or three of them. Ah, there's one right there. Got it. We're getting close to getting this junk clean. We're getting close, I cannot wait. Inspector forgot about me. Now he's gonna text me, he's gonna, he said that text them pictures i was like well that's even better okay that's as much tape as i'm using i'm gonna use the shield and between what i have taped and the shield i think i can get it good enough victory this is ryan hey ryan electrical inspector how are you good hey uh, i hear there's a mix-up I guess and, so. <laughs> and no one come up to look at your service. No. And I'm up in Appleton, but I'm willing to have you send me pictures. All right. All right. Good. Thanks a lot. Yes. <laughs> that, I don't care what my hair looks like right now. That makes me super happy. Even though it was a frustrating day overall, not having the inspector come here is really good. So you heard it. I just need to text pictures of it. I mean, my electrician is a union electrician. He has his own company. It's all legit. As you can see, the guy's a pro. So uh, I'm gonna take these pictures, send it to him, and get him an address later, which is just a made up address, a fake address. And then that's it, man. This paint is really thick. It's a lot thicker than the paint we used yesterday. There's no way this is gonna spray. It's almost like honey. I'm gonna try it, but I'm saying 0% chance that sprays. We'll try it, but I am super doubtful. To be honest, to be honest, it ain't bad. Yeah! Let's get some music going. Autumn, cue the music. Okay, front is done. It looks good, really good. My favorite part of painting, whether it be a vehicle or a house or anything, is peeling the tape. I got a little bit of overspray on the soffit, a couple places. We're gonna go back over it with paint here and there anyway, no big deal. Man, not bad. Not bad for a storage shed. Let me close the inside door and see what it looks like. Inside door is kind of gray and white already. Should look good. That looks really nice. Brand new roof. Francisco's almost done. Man. We might become builders. I'll have to think about it. I mean, I have to charge probably like 
60 to 70 thousand just for a shed like this because it takes us way too long but i think i could get some people to sign all right moving around to the other side tino's been taping for me uh looks like he's done with this side hey wait till you see this down here painted nice. oh it looks good dude really good Okay, three sides, one to go. Tino's just finishing taping this side and bam, super easy. Just finished up that post painting's done and he's almost done almost done eh man we finish almost at the same time we probably will i need to put a some kind of cover on that so water doesn't just go down can we put a shingle on top of that so water doesn't go down you gonna shingle the roof on here okay you know we're doing a concrete job tomorrow so yeah with drill and cordless and charger and all that we're gonna need hey i need a ride to the winter shop you didn't call your ride already did you yeah well i guess you could give me a ride it's up to you it doesn't matter yeah he does. i can give him a few bucks for gas yeah man well, I put that, uh, shingle over there. You told me. oh good yeah. so you put a roof on it yeah <laughs> hopefully it doesn't leak I forgot the ice water. <laughs> all right i'm gonna have these guys give me a ride to the winter shop because the crown vic's over there and i have to get that even if i get it over here that'll be that'll be fine three days we worked here and you know we got everything done i wanted to get done ray didn't finish the pile but he's still as you can see he's he's still struggling he's still learning a little bit as you can see i want him to struggle i want him to learn because that's the only way he's going to get better yeah i could run over there and load that thing up in a few minutes or whatever but uh i gotta grab my sweatshirts and then we're out of here this is super nice. Back here, I was thinking, uh, I was thinking we really need a couple rocking chairs. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, what's it called, Cracker Barrel. A couple rocking chairs back here. Obviously not, because the pallet racking is going in there. We're gonna put our stamps in there. That'll be really, really, really nice. Fonzie's here. Fonzie's here. Oh man. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I guess I never showed the inside of the shed. So this is what we had before up to there and now we got all that lower level so it's pretty big in here now we got a good amount of room in here i'm gonna put a couple of them red shelves at least two of the red shelves in here we're gonna organize like all of our extra shovels and all that kind of junk here i don't know whatever we'll use all this space i know that for sure yeah real happy with everything today all right uh tomorrow we're gonna start a concrete job believe it or not three days no concrete it's killing me we're gonna do a it's a pretty small job it's a wheelchair ramp for a lady and i probably wouldn't have even considered it but considering the situation i told her that i would do it so it's a wheelchair ramp and then we're going to replace one section of her driveway as well all right i'll see you guys in the morning adios